I'm feeling really good this week because I was really productive. I have a video out for my YouTube and um, I'm drawing a lot and yeah, I'm journaling almost every day or at least I'm using my journal wisely. Like I'm actually putting to-do lists and things I should be writing in my channel and last night my friends and i we usually always like just voice call like every day but we video chatted yesterday and it was so weird like some of them are like like babe babe i haven't seen your physical face in so long and this is really nice seeing them and also it was because this dnd was so scary and we were all scared so we were like okay can we just see each other please yeah so um i'm just getting ready right now because I'm just gonna quickly pass by my sister's place to get um some gumbo because she sells it. So I don't think I've mentioned it like on YouTube, but I'm opening my like art shop again, I guess. I, I used to sell prints a while back, but then I stopped when like things got stagnant and I never really had like super good packaging or like I never had like an order to fill out it was just like by DM and I wanted to get back into that um Seth's been helping me a lot like figuring out the shipping how does cash on delivery work and in the future I really want to get into like making clay pins and um like other stationery maybe like envelopes or notepads or uh stickers I would love to make stickers but I still have to figure all of that out I just finished my freaking order form. I was very confused if I should just make like fill this out and then DM me versus making like a Google form where they can just fill it out and I'll know basically everything that I need to know already and I'll just yeah. It's so hard to explain. Wait, okay. What does I say? Okay. So basically, I decided that the process is gonna be um, you fill out the Google form and then um, you wait for my DM and I will send you like how much everything is gonna be and you send me proof of payment, then ship it. Good morning, I am so, so, so excited today because um, when I woke up, my mom was like, do you want to go to farmer's market? And yes, I do. I do want to go to farmer's market. So if you don't know, farmer's market is like this super affordable plant place. They sell um, soils, fertilizers, plants, pots, everything you need for gardening basically. And there's this way that you can just literally just drive through and then you just hand them the money or leave the money somewhere and then they'll put it in your trunk or the back of your car. So it's still safe and yeah, I was so excited because I really wanted more plants for my room because it's not as jungle as I want it to be. <laughs> my outfit's kind of funky today. It's like a very chill pair of shorts. I got this on ASOS. The top is super girly and I wasn't planning on wearing these shorts when I picked this top but who's gonna see me? I'm gonna be in a car, right? Yeah. So we also brought like a little sanitizing bag. It just has like alcohol tissue, gloves, 
um, wet wipes, everything we need to sanitize if we end up being in contact with anyone. Up. Well, you can't open your mouth, you can't see your mouth. I know. <laughs> These are the plants we got. This is a jade plant. Oh, I didn't realize it was in this. You didn't realize? I realized. Container. It's a Coke bottle or a Pepsi we bottle. We have to it, yeah. Yeah. We also got this really weird like white plant. I forgot what it's called. We asked the guy to write it down somewhere, but I don't know if he did. One, I don't know what you call it, but this it's one is gonna. It's gonna sprout some blue flowers in a while. And then mom got some basil. We are gonna propagate this. And last but not the least, we got a Spanish moss. Harry Spanish moss. Mom already has one of these, but I wanted one for my room, so we got one. You piece, yeah? They got some maran, cook, That's where I'm gonna have like my shop order forms. I do not know when this whole shop thing is going up because there's still so many things I don't know. I'm still asking like the printing place I go to all the time, like if they can make custom envelopes because I really want the packaging to be super cute. I'm also really afraid that um, things will get crushed like on the way because these are like prints, they're documents, and um, I'm just scared that it'll end up crumpled. But then like my paper is like really good quality and hard, but I'm just thinking, do I buy a bubble mailer? But I don't want to use up more plastic. <laughs> Happening. Hello, so today is a very exciting day. Um, I'm going to pick up my prints that I'll be selling for my shop and after that, probably tomorrow, I'll be having like a little photo shoot for my prints so like you can see what the actual product looks like. And I'm just super excited because it's like another step closer to opening my shop and yeah. Um, so I'll be going very near my house, um, it's still somewhere in Mahati and um, they're really, again, just going to put the stuff in our trunk and the transaction just happens through Gcash so there's no like actual touching people or being near them. Yeah. Oh, I love the weather. It's so cloudy. It's been so rainy the past few weeks and I'm in a sweater and I'm not sweating. That's all I've ever wanted. So my mom and I are just gonna lay out the prints in our living room because um, COVID can live on paper for up to five days. So we just wanna keep it there, not touch it for a while. And then we will um, set up a table downstairs in the office. I don't think you guys have seen the office. It's where my mom works. But just so I have a place to package all my prints and my stickers for the shop because this table, I don't want it to be like a business table, you know, it's like my art, vlogging, playing station. Hi, Ma. 
So, bad news. Upon like further inspection of the prints, um, they just weren't the quality that I thought they would be. I printed in this place before and the quality was really good. Um, I love the paper, I love the printing, everything seemed perfect so I thought that I would get the exact same thing. But apparently like they don't have consistent toner or ink or machines so what I had done was so far off from what I wanted, from what I expected. That just bummed me out a bit. That means like I'm gonna have to find a new printing place and so yeah I got everything refunded and I really wanted to have the shop open this month since I start school next month but I don't know anymore. Let's see. Hello, this is Anya from around two weeks, three weeks after this vlog was taken and I forgot to film an outro again so this is it this is the end of the video if you want to see my shop updates and my if it's, if it's open um <laughs> I'm gonna link my FB page my art IG and the link to order if you can order already maybe not probably not but <laughs> you'll see the link in one of my social media platforms um yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! And stay safe, please. Thank you!